Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done this, so we're back. In our last episode, all hell broke loose. And despite his efforts with Chris Redfield, man, this is not good. Not to mention the shocking revelation, too. I'm surprised. So anyway, let's get started with the fifth and final chapter of Chris's story in Resident Evil 6. And for the sake of things, I'm doing this solo and with Chris. And it looks like things are going to go downhill really fast. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this, so whatever. Anyway, last time, well, never mind. We're about to have a cutscene, so be ready. Wait. wait. <laughs> There's irony for you. A man who spent his entire life trying to destroy the world, and now his son is the only one who could save it. And here I am coming to rescue him. The man who killed his father. Like I said, irony. I don't know. Maybe it's fate. It's been three years since I killed Wesker. I can't let this war follow me forever. After we rescue Jake, I'm turning in my gun. What? Wait a minute! It's about time someone took my place. I'd be honored if it was you. I... I don't think I'm ready for that. You made it this far, haven't you? All right. This is it! Wow. Simply wow. I mean, oh my god. Didn't think Wesker is gonna... I mean, no, not Wesker. I mean, Chris! Yeah, I haven't done this in a while, so if you find me sputtering or anything, I apologize. So anyway, it's been like, what, three Ooh, years since he called Wesker? To build something like this. It's got Neo Umbrella written all over it. Be careful. Knowing Roger. them, there'll be some surprise. Copy oh, that. don't worry. There's gonna be plenty of surprises. Plenty in store for a place like this. Captain. All right. I think I got it. They found us. We gotta go. Well, shit. Now we have a lot of work to do. Captain, can you pinpoint their location? They're in some sort of research bay. We can get there from the lower levels. Let's Looks like we need to find Jake and Sherry. And don't worry, I will be covering them, I promise. Gotta make sure to get myself ready for anything. Come on. There we go, more skill points. Pierce, I need you to scope out an area for me. Alright. Let's get moving, Pierce. Can't get into the air ducts with these blades going. See if you can turn them off from up there. Roger that. And just how do I do that? Okay, it's off. Roger. Let's see if there's going anything in. underground. Oh, for Christ's sake. Ah, crap. I gotta help the uh, help them out. Major explosions. Oh, nuts. Pierce is in trouble, and I gotta help him. But I don't know how. 
There's gotta be a way. Come on, hurry up, Pierce. I can't do anything if you're just sitting there. No, no, no. There we go. Now we can pick on him. Hard three, zoom in. Come on, keep it steady. Gotta make this shot count. Nah, Pierce is just standing there. Gotta wait till they make their move. Yeah, all I could do is nothing while Pierce just sits there like a sitting duck. Damn it, there's gotta be another way. At this point, there isn't. Hmm. All I could do is just watch. There's nothing I could do here. Come on. Hmm, there's gotta be a way around it. Let's see if there is. Let's see if I can find it through the other side. No. I gotta recharge. No, there's nothing here. Looks like I'm at a dead end. For now, anyways. Wait, what am I doing? I should be helping him, not just sitting around doing nothing. Hang on, let me just head downstairs. Alright. Let's see if we can find anything. Here we go! Should have done this sooner. And looks like we made it across. Whoa! I'll see what I find here. Wait for my command. Hmm, there's gotta be something here. There we go. Now we got something. Pierce, I got another set of blades in the way. I'm on it. Just I just hope he can survive until then. Let's see if there's enemies up above. It's off. You're good to go. Nice. I should have done this sooner. Alright, let me just speed my way through, no problem. And, yeah, more explosions. And we're about to take a slide down. Yeah, I can hear it vibrate while I do this. And... Now I gotta restore power to the elevator. Hey, big boy! Surprise! Yeah, that's right. You want some? Oh, he's protected. Or not, he's dead. And I take you down. And to make sure I take you out for good measure, more ammo. This will be interesting. Now let's restore power to the elevator. Yes! I've restored power to the elevator. Copy. I'll rendezvous with you up ahead. Now our next step is to rescue Sherry and Jake. Though the objective may change, so we have to be ready for anything. Gotta make sure I reload all my ammo, so that way we'll be prepared for anything. Let's see. No. No. Wait, what am I doing? That's not what I'm supposed to do. Nah. What am I supposed to... No. No. What was that button again? Nah. Eh, eh. Ah, here we go. Unfortunately, I don't have any acid rounds, so I'll have to stick with it. There's the semi-automatic. Alright, good. Now all we gotta do is wait for Pierce. Come on, Pierce. What's taking you so long? I just hope he's not in danger, because if it is, I may have to intervene. Oh yeah, I forgot. I pressed the button. Why am I an idiot? Pierce, I'm in the elevator. Headed your way. Copy that yeah, I'm being dumb. I'm j I haven't done this in a while. Okay, press the button. Now let's head upstairs and rescue him. Or meet up with him. Whatever. Whoa. Huh? Hang on. Whoa! Really did not see that coming. You know what? Let's take the pits. Ah! Shit! And I'm about to fucking die. Oh my god. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, what a way to die in the last mission of the game for Chris Redfield. That just sucks ass. But whatever. I can't believe I played that rocket launching prick. But doesn't matter at this point. Gotta rely on stealth to take these two thugs down. 
And like that. Bye bye. At least unlike the last time, it just saved me some time. Now let's activate the elevator and do this. Here's I've restored power to the elevator. I'll rendezvous with you up ahead. Oh wait, I gotta get my uh, chest skill points. All right, good. Now let's head upstairs. Ow! All right, Here's let's head up there. Headed your way. Copy that, Captain. Hmm, let's see, semi-automatic. Got a good view of the place. Good thing there's no, no monsters or anything like that. Gotta keep moving so I don't get shot! You! Bye! And again, and again. Let's take care of these freaks first before they really try anything funny. These ones are heavily defensive, so let's go from behind and take them out. And to make sure for good measure, stop on the head. That takes care of him. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I have a cold. Yeah, earlier my mom is sick, so I have to. I had to help my mother out. Fortunately, there aren't that many enemies. Yeah, all the threats are taken care of. <coughs> Bless you. All right, let's take the elevator. And this time, we get moving. Question is, now what? Though I'm not surprised that we're now in an underwater lab. But still, the fact that we're now miles below sea level is just really surprising. Hurry up, Pierce. I'm on it. Thank you. I can't believe I died. Yeah, I haven't played Resident Evil 6 in a while. I've been too busy with a lot of other things that I hardly ever have time for stuff like that. And look, more Jabo. You know what? Now you die. And assault shotgun. Oh crap, I ran out of ammo. Gotta keep moving. Gotta watch out for these Jamo. They look like crustaceans or crabs or something. Yeah. That's freaky. I gotta get out of there. Nice. They self-detonated. Very good. And you. Why come I can't hit you for shit? Oh wait, I got him. Just one more will have to do. Stop moving around! Ain't you where it hurts. Yeah, and this time, stay down. Stay down, it suits you. Really does. Okay, so we have... Hey, big boy, think fast. And... That ought to take care of you. Now let's check what's in here. Ooh, we got more ammo. And another Jabo! Yo, oh wait, Pierre's already got a head start. And making sure you die. And again. And again. And again. I don't know what's worse. The fact that I had to go through this or just watching power and responsibility. Yeah, atop the fourth wall just celebrated its fourth anniversary. Four years of being on the series. That's actually pretty cool. Ah oh, crap, it's gonna self-detonate. And Oh wait, I gotta get more ammo. And we knock you down for the cow. Yeah! You son of a bitch! Yeah, now I take care of you. And I got more ammo. You know what? Oh shoot! Uh-huh. You know what? I'll just never mind. I took you down anyway. Let's see. Let's see if I have any ammo. No, nah, not really. I was going to use it then, but that wouldn't work. Oh, wait, there is more. Let's see what's in here. And an acid rounds. Let's reload the grenade launcher and prepare ourselves for who knows what. Okay. Oh, man, I can't believe I get up close. That was just stupid as all hell. You, sir, can die. Not to mention experience destructive fury. Nice. Uh-oh. Gotta hit the deck. This whole thing's gonna blow. Nice. Nice work, Pierce. 
I don't have enough yet, so I'll have to conserve. I need at least three so I can at least have like up to six. What kind of place is this? And you? I don't like people who use rocket launchers! It's just as bad as using rocket boots. Wait, did I? Oh yeah, another one. Alright, let's combine these two. We get three. Yeah, two green arms makes a GG, and three makes a triple G, and you get like six. Okay, so let's check in here. Let's see. Alright, we'll just use the sniper rifle and pick off these little buggers. Yeah, these Java are annoying. Almost as bad as back in Chapter 2, where you have to deal with these giant freaks. Oh, well. Let's see if we can push on this switch and activate the elevator. Though I got a pretty bad feeling about this, but either way, we have to save Jake and Sherry. Now, I could explain their backstories regarding Jake and Sherry, but I'll take care of that later on. Later on, when I cover their story, I'll provide like a lot of backstory relating to the two characters. Especially Sherry, because we haven't seen her in, like, what, years? Like a very long time. But why not? Let's see if they're around. And it looks like there's some nearby switches we have to press. But let's check around the area to see if there's anything of interest. And it looks like there aren't. Such a shame. Hmm? There's a ladder! Let's see where this leads. Hopefully it's to some more goodies. Because if there is, then I'll need it. And I get a green. Let's combine these two together, and you get a green green. One, two, three. Alright, that's good enough. Let's check around on the other side if there are anything else. And it looks like, yeah, there is. Yeah, after Chris's story, I'm going to do Leon's next. And after Leon comes Jake. All three stories are connected, and they are connected for a reason. So, basically, if you want to get an idea, you need to play the story at a specific path. Though, for me, who really cares? I'll just follow the path that suits me best. Chris? Engaging airlock. Connection to research block initiated. Please wait until the connection is complete. 